you're going to talk about cleaning, please define clean. Clean is an environmental condition free of unwanted matter. What are you doing cleaning? You put the unwanted matter in its proper place. You never destroy matter, you just move it around. Two, you know people complain about mold indoors? A good vacuum cleaner will pull out a lot of your fungal spore. We had up to 90% reduction in fungal spore. That causes the allergic reaction, a lot of asthma response. Bacteria the same way. Bacteria is a hard critter to manage. But even there, we were able to knock the bacteria levels down. There's a science principle. The principle is when you, when you uh, transfer matter from one compartment to the other, you do it, uh, the amount of matter transferred, let's say from the carpet to the air, is in proportion to the amount of matter that's in the compartment. I mean, it's a well-established model. It doesn't, doesn't sit there. No. Nothing sits. No stationary indoors. It's always moving around in proportion to the amount that's there. So if you move it out, if you drop the amount, you're going to have a lot less transfer. Okay, you're going to have a lot less exposure, especially to air or, or surface. So that's what science tells us. Now what do you do when you clean? You take the matter and get it out of the building. Uh, 22 grams of, let's say, a substance in a certain area on a hard surface to me is really disturbing because you tend to get a, a, a higher transfer off of a hard surface than a trapping surface like a carpet. Okay. Okay. So the numbers have different meanings. Okay. All right. Now I can, I can have, for example, I can have 200 grams for a certain same area in the carpet and it's going to cause less problem to air than, let's say, 22, all right? grams on a hard surface interesting because the transfer rate constant is different you transfer more off a hard surface thing than you do a carpet mm -hmm. but it is completely irresponsible to say this carpet never transfers to air that's nonsense it does in relation to the amount of matter in the carpet okay. that's why when you take on a team cleaning program that addresses comprehensively the entire environment, you're getting a much higher environmental management benefit because everything's connected. OS1 recognizes connectedness. You know, high performance cleaning is based on science principles. First, you recognize the total interconnected environment. You could have a clean basement and a filthy fourth floor and you end up polluting the basement you don't recognize total connectedness because you track stuff around. Okay, that's a relatively new tile. That's not outside air quality. That's indoor, indoor dusts. Now there's an example and it happens to be aimed, you know, at a direction where you can see it as a collection device, all right? All right what that tells you is you're not taking particle mass out of the, out of the building. Now I'm breathing that. That particle mass getting in my lungs, damaging lung, that's an indication of, of, of cleaning ineffectiveness. I caught on very early to the fact that what we were calling vacuum cleaners were nothing more than indoor air polluters. I took five brand new vacuums off the shelf in Raleigh, Durham area, put it in a chamber, vacuumed, for the first time measured what was in the breathing zone of the, of the uh, operator. We're getting numbers like 2,360 micrograms per cubic meter. That's about 20 times what you're allowed to pollute out of your car. The EPA has no statutory authority indoors. This is criminal. The backpack you have was one of the first uh, VACs to pass and to be certified as a green label VAC by the Carpet Rug Institute. We got a typical lecture room here, right? Fabric. Trap. Did you see the particles? But you didn't see the little stuff that no. causes the allergic reaction. I didn't. Right? Yeah. Think anything popped up in my breathing zone? Huh? You think students ever do that in this room? You clean first for health. You want to minimize exposure to human beings. You do that when you have a vacuum cleaner that doesn't spew uh, 
uh, antigens and fine particles in the breathing zone of, of occupants and especially the workers. People have begun now to recognize what cleaning is all about.